Hey, what's good? What's good? It's the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Um, as I said, I'm just trying to get into more React videos, so we're going to react to another video today uh, watching young Americans with the impossible task of answering the most simple questions. Before we do that, though, let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. Me and my team will never be link up. They're gonna be drink up. We sit down and relax and have few glasses when there's things to think about. Like I'm nice with the boss when I tend to the boss and I'm not talking drink ups. So tell the bartender that's tend to the water, please pass me a big cup of And tell the waitress that's waiting on us to put a little ice in it. Now watch the ice become weightless like the spaceships that I be sitting in. No wait and listen, no they're waiting for that tropical twist. That'll take a good taste, but now taste up. Now I insist it's the That's right. It's the Dizzle. I insist. Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur. Make sure of agave tequila, cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. And that was the creator of Dizzle, Mike Dizzle, holding up the glass at the end. Cheers. Check them out. Dizzlebrand.com. Go to our locations. Click on one of the top three links. And you can order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. And below those links are actual store locations, California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas. Just picked us up. So, Little Rock, here we come. Check us out, DizzleBrand.com. And also, check out the merch. The Dizzle Brand store is on there as well. Hats, T-shirts, hoodies, and the works. Um, let's get into it. Reacting to young Americans trying to answer simple One dollar if you can name any continent. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a continent. If I did, I would say it. What century are we in? 20. Yes. If you're driving 60 miles an hour and you drive for one hour, how far do you end up traveling? Um, I don't know. I'm not good at math. <laughs> Two hours? Justin here. Are you freaking kidding me? The first question he asked was, can you name a continent? I'm starting to realize a theme with these young Americans. A, a theme across the board with all of them. They don't know the difference between city uh, no let me actually probably they don't know different counties cities states countries and continents they can't if you can't name one continent you're dumber than a bag of bricks and then the next one was what century are we in uh the 21st century jackass he said the 20th century um okay and then they asked if you're going 60 miles per hour. Hold on, hold on. We got to go back. And today we're in the beautiful Times Square in New York City. Hold on, hold on. Let's run that back. One hour. How far do you end? Let's run that back. Hold on. Yes. If you're driving 60 miles an hour and you drive for one hour, how far do you end up traveling? Um, I don't know. I'm not good at math. Are you serious? If you're traveling 60 miles per hour, if you're traveling 60 miles per hour, how far will you went in an hour? And she says, I don't know. I'm not good at math. You talking about an answer that's self-explanatory. I think I'm allergic to stupidity and people that are dumb in a bag of bricks because 
you talking about a question where the answer is self-explanatory. If you're traveling 60 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour, and how far would you have went in an hour? She, I'm not good at math. Are you serious? You shouldn't need to be good at math. The answer is in the question. 60 miles per hour. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting a headache now. Two hours. Justin here. And today we're in the beautiful Times Square in New York City doing a collab with Fleckus Talks. We're just going to go around and ask people if they, see if they know anything at all. Can you name the continents? What the f***? No. It's like, isn't it like Alaska? Oh, I got it right. You see it? What's even dumber about this is that this chick named a state as a continent, and he he basically mocked her and like, and she's actually now she's actually thinking she got it right. She's actually like, yeah, oh my gosh, I got it right. That's how even dumber she is now. She's even dumber now, like for thinking that she got it right, <laughs> celebrating that she thinks she got it right. I mean, who the hell don't know Alaska is a state? It's not even a country, more or less a continent. I mean, I'm seeing a theme here where these kids, these young bucks, don't know the difference between a state, a country, a continent, a city. Uh, uh New Jersey? Alaska. Yeah. Oh, you see Alaska? So you got Alaska, New Jersey. Hawaii? Yes. What's Obama's last name? Wait. The president, Obama. What's his last name? Quick, quick, quick. Just say it. I don't... Say it. it... Say Obama. it. Obama. What is his last name? I'm asking you. Just say it. First Obama's name. last name. Say it. Um, what his first name? I don't know. What is his last name? What's it? Now I see why parents put their kids up for adoptions. You ask this dude, okay, hold on, first let me go back to the girls. These fools named New Jersey a city in a state. They didn't even name one single continent, not even a country. They only they think cities and states, they don't know the difference between cities and states and countries and continents. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold up, man. Hold up. I gotta. The more I watch this. The smarter I get, the more genius I am. Um, that's why this is the Common Sense Podcast. Because, <laughs> oh my gosh, these fools. And you ask, what's Obama's last name? He don't. This fools, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. All right, so let's get to the six times seven. And hopefully this fool knows that it equals 42. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 48. What does Y-E-S spell? Y-E-S? Yeah. Y-E-S. I don't know. What the f***? If these young Americans are this dumb, there is no climate change in the world that is going to save these folks. These fools are doomed. If these of young Americans, if the majority of young Americans are this stupid and dumb, they are doomed. It doesn't matter how much climate change, go green, carbon emission. It doesn't matter. They are doomed. They are, oh my gosh. I don't even know if they're dumber than a bag of bricks. We got to think of something that's actually dumber than a bag of bricks. Twig? I don't know. What does Y E S spell? Wes, right? Wes? Oh my gosh. She said Wes. Wes. One doesn't even know what Y E S spells. Um, it's that thing, you know. 
y'all are saying every time y'all spread your legs. Yes. <laughs> the other one says Wes. Wes. Um, thank God I don't have kids. Because if I had kids and they were that dumb, I would disown them now. Um, and, you know, this is only like a five or six minute video. And it's crazy that there's this much stupidity going on. Six times seven. 48. You try to Yes. I'll give you one dollar if you can name a single continent. Yes. <laughs> Who did we gain our independence from? I don't know. Didn't they go to war? Yeah, who did we fight against? <laughs> Air this fool said, fuck, I don't know. Didn't they go to war? Yeah, but who did they go to war against? And he says, everybody. Uh, I don't even know. Take a guess. What country? Korea. This fool said Korea. I give you a hint. The British are coming. The British are coming. Um, if we fought for our independence against Korea, then the majority of Americans would be Koreans, you jackass, you idiot, you moron. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, um, do these, have these kids ever went to high school, middle school, or some of these kids look like they're in college? I mean, what the fuck is going on here? 69th president of the United States of America. 69th. Uh, Richard Nixon? Yes. How many make up one dozen? How many make up one dozen? 100? 100. Yeah. So there's a uh, hundred eggs. And a dozen eggs. This fool apparently never bought a dozen eggs in his entire life. Because if he did, i like to know where the fuck is this guy getting his dozen eggs from where you go buy a dozen eggs and you get a hundred of them bitches. <laughs> I mean, a hundred of them bitches in a dozen? Um, damn, where the hell is he buying his dozens? He obviously never bought a dozen donuts from Krispy Kreme. I mean, because I like to know where the hell he's getting a, do a hundred donuts in his dozen because I would buy that shit every single day and sell Krispy Kreme donuts every single day. I'd be the Krispy Kreme donut selling guy in the freaking neighborhood, man. Make it a profit. Let's go. Obama. <laughs> Care. 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 Like C-A-R-E. Obama's last name, the president. Care. If you're driving 60 miles an hour and you drive for one hour, how far do you travel? A mile. Yes. The fact that this guy is just making a mockery of these people with their, their answers. Like this guy said, if you're traveling 60 miles per hour, then you drive for an hour. How far do you go? He said a mile. A mile. And, and this is the thing. This video is showing you that it's not. I've only seen like two black dudes and a lot of whites and maybe uh, some Latins. I don't know. So the, it's showing stupidity across the board right now. Continents. USA. Continent. I don't know. Congratulations. <laughs> you drive 60 miles an hour and you drive for one hour. How far do you travel? One mile. Who fought in the Civil War? 
Soldiers. Duh. Uh, duh. Of course some soldiers fought in the Civil War, you freaking idiot. Which ones? She says soldiers. Uh, well, duh. Soldiers fight in every freaking war. Oh, my God. These fools can't name a continent. They can't name who fought in the Civil War, Revolutionary War. They don't know how far you've went if you have drove 60 miles per hour in an hour, how long it takes to get. I mean, oh, my gosh. They don't know six times seven. Um, I'm a genius. I'm a genius, man. I am a freaking genius. Maybe not the top of the top geniuses. But I'm a genius. Okay, who against who? Um, America and France. Who fought in the Civil War? I'm going. I don't know that one. I don't know. Take a guess. Who against who? Civil War. You know this. No, I don't. Dig deep. Civil War. Hey y'all, who fought in the Civil War? <laughs> Cam, who fought in the Civil War? Who fought in the Civil War? Yeah. I forgot, honestly. <laughs> Take a guess. Who against who? It was the U.S. and the Japanese. At least the first guy said, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I got to come in. He's the first person that just gave a not stupid answer, just said, I don't know. But then he asked his friend, and his friend says, I forgot. And he says, U.S. and Japan. I didn't know that U.S. was in Japan. Like, that's the thing. Like, U.S. would have to be in Japan, and Japan would have to be in U.S. for it to be an actual Civil War. Let's go. Yeah. Do you know who the 69th president of the United States is? The what? The 69th president. I don't. Uh... If you had to guess, it's the 69th, who was he? Obama. Yes. Spell Mississippi. Mississippi? Mississippi. You know, there's Giuseppe, so I'm going to base it off that. Giuseppe, G-U-I-S-S-P-E-I. So, Mississippi. Okay, all due respect, I get that one wrong every now and then, Mississippi. Because I don't know how many S's and I's and P's. I think it's, I'm not even going to try it, man. I just think it's two S's and two P's, if I'm not mistaken. The two I's in Mississippi. That's not necessarily a super common one, man. You know, that's for the spelling bee nerds. But a lot of these other questions, like Obama's last name, um, Civil War, uh, Revolutionary War, name a continent. I mean, these, these fools are really dumb. Bro, Mississippi, bro. Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi. Am I? What's the biggest number that you can think of? Uh, a hundred. <laughs> How many people are in this mall? A hundred. A lot. A hundred is really the biggest number you can think of. I think y'all seen enough. Young Americans are doomed. We could do all we want to try to save the climate, fix the climate. They are doomed. And they are the... What's the words I'm looking for? They are the hands of their own demise. <laughs> At the hands of their own demise. Um, I mean, like, thank God my niece and nephew are smarter than them, and they're only like nine and seven. And Emerson's probably five or six. He's probably smarter than them, too. Thank God my niece and nephew are smarter than those folks, but 
I mean, these are random people that he's just going up, and they all across the board seem to just be dumping in a bag of bricks. And I see that they don't know the none of the they don't know cities, states, countries, continents. They don't know basic American history, Civil War, Revolutionary War. Those are two of the main. Those are the two biggest historical wars. For America is the Civil War and the Revolutionary War. You know, I mean, America was built on those two wars. So you don't even know that. I mean, well, um, let's get to another word from another one of our sponsors. Are you a musician looking for music marketing and promotion? then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pool promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard a lovely lady need marketing promotions. Check out promopalace.biz, your one-stop shop for all marketing and promotions. Um, once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. We're going to end it off with a word from the one and only myself. This your boy, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. The Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Please check me out three to four days a week on my video podcast on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Rumble. And check out the audio version on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Stitcher, Slacker, iHeartRadio, Player FM, and much more. Peace. See you there. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.